Today we're pitting Google's AR Core Framework released this week in Preview Beta versus Apple's AR Kit Framework in beta since May. AR Kit came up first. They're not getting a point though because I don't know if that goes to the OS or the framework. But AR Core gets a point for more features tracked while AR Kit obviously detected the floor first. So it's one versus one right now. As more of the floor is inferred and expanded, AR Core is definitely getting better coverage of my floor. I'm not sure if that's because it has a more aggressive algorithm or because AR Kit is definitely trying to, maybe more conservatively, keep the floor pieces it finds contained within a rectangular bounding box. Whereas AR Core obviously has an irregularly bounded floor polygon. However, AR Core uh, gets another point for having a clearer camera feed. That might be why it's getting more features picked up. But you can definitely see the, the, the floor coverage is just more representative, more accurate on the left for AR Core. So the augmentations both show up uh, to scale. This is the right size for both of them. They both seem equally well anchored to the floor and not floaty. Yeah, that looks like a match here, but I'm looking at the estimated lighting on them and I really think the point goes to AR Core. AR Kit is appropriately darkening the model because we're in my office, which is darker than outside, but just in the lighting here, I think AR Core's lighting looks more realistic, so it gets the point. All right, so now we're gonna jitter the camera a bit and see if the anchors stay. No, we'll do that next. Right now we're gonna detect ceiling planes. Yep, point goes to AR Kit. Um, I'm surprised that there's nothing from AR Core. It's more than capable of inferring a ceiling plane. Uh, but that surface isn't showing up here. So that's not helping its case. Camera movement isn't throwing either of these off. So we'll do a swing there and back. I think that's a tie. We'll pan around my office. They look equally well settled. We're looking for any um, jitters or jumps as we come back to the augmentation. I didn't see anything appreciable there. Don't know why AR Kit found any plane. Might not have realized that was coplanar. And in this one, we've lost AR Core completely. So another point to AR Kit, which pulled. Whoa, we have a last minute reversal. AR Kit has definitely represented my floor plane better. Notice that clean blue line along the edge of my carpet. Whereas AR Core uh, has included uh, some extra space there going into the wall and certainly back into my closet area. And you might say, well, isn't it even that AR Kit has stopped more or less at the closet door? It's gone in a bit versus, and then missing what's beside it versus AR Kit getting more than enough. But when, when you're developing an augmented reality as a developer, you want less false positives because you're trying to keep your augmentation not overlapping um, a closet or a thing jutting out of the wall or or something else that covers a floor plane. So AR Core in its more aggressive algorithm, maybe we've answered that now, um, has collected or counted too much, estimated too much surface area into my floor and included things that shouldn't. So AR Kit wins. Now I need to show off my bias a bit. Um, as someone who has these pins on his <laughs> laptop bag strap, um, I've been using AR Kit since the day it came out. And I've really been getting into AR Core this week. And although AR Kit pulls ahead in this one test, AR Core, uh, I think, it tracks more features and is not far behind. So don't think just because AR Core came out more recently into preview beta that it's just a me too. Uh, they certainly have a really solid monocular slam algorithm integrated with the inertial motion units um, that's that's really holding its own although they didn't win today